Namaste, welcome to Geetha's Kitchen. Today we will see how to make a millet noodle pulao. All of us know that millets are filled with nutrition but very often we don't know how to include it in our diet. So this millet noodles pulao is something which even children will enjoy and very simple and easy to make and tasty too. Tanjai Naturals has come out with 16 different types of healthy millet noodles which are suitable for all age groups. So here I will show you what all they have. These are the red rice noodles, tomato noodles and uh, pearl millet noodles, foxtail millet noodles, carrot noodles, uh, ban barnyard millet noodles. These are moringa noodles. So they are not only millets but healthy vegetables also added to it. This is the karupu kavani arsi, very very healthy grain, uh, wheat noodles, these are corn millet noodles, horse gram millet noodles, this is ragi millet, little millet noodles, koda millet noodles, so beetroot noodles and uh, multi millet noodles. See for example, these are tomato noodles. And they also have their own uh, special taste maker masala inside. The masala has got coriander seeds, red chilies, onion powder, garlic powder, cumin, dry ginger, turmeric, fennel seeds, poppy seeds, black pepper, uh, bay leaves, anise, cloves, salt. So they have these different taste maker masalas inside each packet or you can use your own masala too. This is made of tomato and uh, wheat flour. All their noodle varieties are easy to digest, rich in fiber and do not have any maida and no MSG. So they are very very healthy millet noodles. You can use any one of the millet noodles. Today I am going to use this Kodo millet. Kodo millet is a very very nutritional millet and of course it has its own taste maker packet. We will use this later. Kodo millet is also known as Varag in Tamil and Arikelu in Telugu. Kodo dana I think in Hindi. Please check out Google for your other languages. First, I am taking about 1 litre of water and bring it to a boil. See the water is hot coming to a boil. Just add a uh, drop of oil to it. Now add these Kodo millet noodles to this boiling water. Allow it to cook. It has been boiling for 5 minutes now. I will switch off the gas. See we don't want to make it too mushy but at the same time it should be cooked well. See here. Now we will drain out the noodles. You can rinse it under a tap or just you can wash it with some cold water like this. So that the noodles remain separate. Now we will just allow it to cool, we will keep it aside. So we are going to make a healthy millet noodle pulao. So we have kept the noodles ready. Now I have a number of vegetables all sliced and kept ready. For the masala I have soaked some Kashmiri red chillies or Baidige red chillies in hot water and kept. Depending on your spice level 4 or 5 of these red chillies will grind it into a paste. To make the pulao, first we will heat a teaspoon of butter in a pan and along with the butter, I am also adding some oil to it. Next add some cumin seeds to this. When the seeds are well roasted, I have sliced one large onion, fry that. This is the white portion of a spring onion also I have taken. Lightly stir fry them together. Add some ginger garlic paste. Stir fry till the onions are translucent. I have sliced one green chilli. If you are making it for children you can avoid the green chilli. But this is the non-spicy variety. See always stir fry on a medium flame. 
and when the onions are nearly done we can now add this paste of uh, Kashmiri red chillies which we had soaked in hot water and kept earlier. This again if you don't have this you can just use the Kashmiri chilli powder if you have that also is fine. Always please adjust the spice level according to your family's taste. Less or more depending on whether your children like more spicy or small kids they prefer it less spicy. Add some salt to taste. Next I have one carrot, some cabbage shredded. This is also half a capsicum. You can take either green, yellow or red variety. It will make it even more colorful. Some beans, French beans. Corn. Out of this whatever you have you can use. If you don't have corn just use beans, carrots and uh, cabbage and carrot. And these are some green peas. Now stir fry all these vegetables together. See our vegetables are done well. Don't make them too mushy. Just leave a little bit of crunch in the vegetables. Now I am adding this uh, taste maker noodles masala. And they have added uh, dry ginger powder, chilli powder, salt, clove, cinnamon. And also some dry mango or amchur powder. Now mix all this well together. Now I am adding in these uh, drained noodles. Toss them together gently so that the noodles don't break. Children love taking out the long noodles like that and eating it. Just adding the remaining masala on top. See that the masala and vegetables are well coated in all the noodles. See, mix it very well so that the masala, the vegetables, spices and the noodles are all well mixed and the noodles also retain their shape like this. Finally I have the green portion of the spring onion. I am just sprinkling a little bit on top and top it up with a few fresh coriander leaves. See lovely steaming hot millet noodle masala ready we will transfer it to our serving bowl and now when you serve it you need not worry that uh, it is made of maida so you are allowing your children the joy of eating noodles at the same time they are getting the benefit of eating healthy millets and a lot of good vegetables also to go with it. This Kodo millet noodle masala can be served for the entire family either at lunch or dinner or it's an excellent lunch box recipe too. Kids will definitely complete their lunch box before they come home. They will enjoy it a lot. If you don't have time to make so much of elaborate things with grinding of the chilies and all that, you can use only the masala taste maker which they have provided in the packet. Just saute a few vegetables, add the masala taste maker and add the boiled noodles. You can just do so many variations, try out different options and I am sure you will enjoy making the wide varieties, especially beetroot, carrot, moringa, all very good millet noodles. These millet noodles are a healthy option for those who want to avoid rice, those who are diabetic, those who are on a weight loss diet. They are a very good source of fiber and uh, protein too and they also help to regulate your blood pressure. Those with high cholesterol too can benefit greatly from Coda Millet. I will give you the complete details in the description box, their website also and you can go and uh, pick up whichever millet noodle that you like. Thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe to Geeta's Kitchen and we will meet again with another interesting video from Geeta's Kitchen. Thank you.